What's up, Kerbal Knots? No, this is not deja vu. We are redoing, well not redoing, we're retrying the ICBM launch with something a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. That that didn't work. Apparently I need to lower the landing gear a bit. Meh, I guess it works. Okay, we're gonna close this up. We're gonna build up some thrust. We're gonna take off. And we're gonna try and drop this bugger. And I have a feeling it's gonna work a lot better. I haven't tested it yet, it's just bigger. So the thing should get at least up into a good outer space height. Shouldn't need a ton of thrust. I did add two extra little winglets. Then I spaced the engines out just a titch. And I think I moved their thrust back up. Right, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Can I can I get out of it? 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 I got out of it! Land! Oh! Almost got out of it. They need a better method for attaching these things. Like, when you look at a wing, you know, you make you make a wing out of just structural pieces. There should be a way to really, like, weld them together. So you're essentially making the piece one piece. What they need is a, is a stock tweak scale, right? So you could take the one piece and just stretch it down the wing. So you'd get one solid wing piece, right? And then it would just multiply the weight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces in the, the, the lift by, you know, nine units. I really wish they'd do that, because look how out of place these fucking engines are. Look how big they are. They're ridiculous. You would see that on like an Airbus A380, but how do you build like, you know, a Boeing 737? You almost can't. All right, so this thing is really fast. We're gonna basically just point it straight up if we can without it wobbling all over the place. We're already doing like 400 and something miles an hour. Hauling ass. So yeah, we're just gonna boot up to like 10,000 or so, level off, and then drop our load. <laughs> we're gonna drop a steaming load. Yeah, the craft hasn't changed much. Can I get a sneak peek of what's in here? Uh, so the four parachutes this time. I hope I made a... I think I made a button for that. I just don't remember what it is. Nine, I think. Three, maybe. We'll figure it out when we get there. What do we put in the back? Is it just a poodle? No, it's one of those mega vectoring engines like we tried last time. But of course this time it's got way more fuel. The vectoring should keep it nice and straight. Etc, etc, etc. Alright, we're coming up on 10,000 meters. Meters, not feet. 10,000 meters. I wish I could convert that to feet. Like, I like using meters. You know, I'm Canadian, so we use kilometers and, and meters. But when it comes to height, you know, no matter where you fly in the world, they're always like, we are going to cruise at 30,000 feet. They're, they never really talk meters just because people don't. It's not a Western culture unit. Except in math. Okay, so let's. I'm just going to throttle back a bit. Because when we dump this load, eh, we, uh, we're going to all of a sudden be really lightweight. Okay, get the landing gear down. Beauty. Beauty. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Bye. Oh. Hmm. Can I just, can I just shake it out? Shake it out. Shake it out. Oh, shit. Okay, so that is in a hovering mode, it'll probably be okay. Oh my god, okay, so I have <laughs> no way to cut these. Are you fucking kidding me? I know, I know for a fact I did a button for it, but I don't think it saved. There we go, Jesus Christ. So it's actually walking a bit. Um, one of the problems I have with this engine is look at all the vectoring. There's no, like, minute vectoring. Look at it. It's basically just going, like, extreme one way to extreme the other way. You can tell by the pitch and stuff in the bottom left corner that it's not making micro movements. It's just, like, it's just thrashing about, quite literally. Why is there more? 
I think we were using some of the liquid fuel out of here. Yeah, I think we were using some of the liquid fuel. So how high did we get? Holy shit. So that is an ICBM, if I ever saw one. It went from one continent to another. Friggin' awesome. But where's our plane? Can we go to it? Nope. <laughs> nope. It's down there somewhere. Um, so yeah, let's just call this a success. I have one more craft we can try. Basically the same concept. It's something I, I mocked up. I had done a build, you know, a long time ago and thought, oh, maybe I should shove an ICBM in this one. So I quickly went in and just edited it. And I haven't flied it yet. I put it on the runway to make sure it was going to sit right. But I haven't actually flown it up to height yet. So it is, I guess, my version of like a 747 400. Uh, 800? I don't remember the call signs. But what we have in here is yet another very large, very large rocket. So let's just quickly make sure. What's what's the parachutes? Cut shoot. Beautiful. Okay. How many shoots are there? Is there just the one? There's two. Perfect. Roger. Well, let's close this first. There we go. There we go. So clean. Uh, I hope this works. It's a shame you can't switch back to a plane. I guess the point is, is that it's so low in the atmosphere that they can't have you switching back and forth down there. I presume. I presume that's what it was. Okay, so we got our big 747-400. Gonna throttle up, get some juices going. This thing has the brake power to really actually hold on the runway while we gather up all the units of thrust. Do I have full brakes on back there? No, I don't. Shoot. Just gonna have to deal with it. Building up about 800 units of thrust. Let's pop the brake off. Should just lurch. Burch. Quickly turn off this brake. Not that we're gonna land this thing. Because we can't. Once we get to the missile mode, we apparently can't switch back. Unless I got the missile mode off really quick, pointed it in the direction I wanted to, and then really quickly switched back to the plane before it got out of that however many kilometers it is. Okay, so she doesn't want to take off. I can't I can't lift the nose at all. <laughs> Nothing. So we're just gonna have to go off the end of the runway. And then lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Oh my jeez. Okay, let's get let's get the gear up. I don't know how I should um, like I don't know how to to gain the altitude with this one, just because it's so big. Oh jeez, <laughs> she's such a big girl. She's such a big girl. She's losing speed. We're ticking down. 175, 174. 173. Shit. And these are all full. Yeah, good. Good. They're all ripping 100%. 100%. It's a cool looking craft. It's a it's a cool looking plane. It's a little longer, I think, than it should have been, but that was just because that's how long I had to make it to fit that that thing in. You know, 747s I don't think are that long. The wings are way way farther back. Okay, we gotta level off, I think, a little bit. We need speed back. Okay, we're not losing speed. There we go. I think we're gaining speed. Are we gaining speed? We were gaining speed, now we're losing speed. But we're losing speed slower than, <laughs> than we were before. So yeah, things are okay. I like these new engines, but again, I wish there was a tweak scale. And I wish, like, they hung down a little lower. You know, like, this is not how real engines hang. They actually hang a bit. You know, there's a, probably a foot or so of gap in between the engine and the wing for safety reasons, because the wing has all the fuel in it. Um, you know, I don't... I, I'm not 100% sure this thing's even really going to get too height. I 
We're losing so much speed and the nose is barely up. So we might have to do, we might be doing a 5,000 meter launch. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, geez, we're nosing up for some reason. Oh God, oh God. Deploying, 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 deploying. Danger, 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 danger. Retard, retard, and it's not telling me I'm stalling, it's just calling me a retard. <laughs> okay. Stopped. At some point, that craft is going to go ripping by us. Okay, we just leveled out, I think. Get the landing gear away. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. Let's see, can we get back in here? Nice. Nice. It did a big stall turn. Nice. Nice, and there goes the ICBM probe. Okay, so this is the way you got to do it. You got to just set that thing up to just go in the direction it's going to go. And then you gotta just switch back, land, and just sort of see what happens. Now, we're gonna be really lucky to just even put this thing down. Because it's meant to take off, but with that weight, and now the weight gone, it has no uh, you know, thrust to lift ratio, weight to ratio to, to, to fly. It doesn't fly, it just takes off. Because it's so much longer. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna Sully Sullenberg this. If you know what I mean, if you know who Sully Sullenberg is, good on you. If you don't, he landed a plane in the Hudson. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna do like an emergency landing. I'm using these brakes to try and sort of flap the wings a bit, try and get some extra lift. I'm not trying to slow down. Oh, where is that guy? Oh, he's still rocketing along. He's going up. He's not going up fast, but he is going... Oh, there he goes. He disappeared. But he's going up. I'm not trying to bring on speed. I just need lift. I need lift. We are... Yep, yeah, we are, like, most definitely just crashing. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, folks. Oh, look at that. Cool. Broke the front nose cap off, but everybody survived. Now we have a boat. <laughs> We've got a we've got a mega yacht. All right, where did that guy go? What the hell? Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, what do I do? If I if I go, if I if I recover, because this is career mode, so that didn't cost us anything. It's not career mode, excuse me. That should get us all the parts back, and then if we go to the if we go to the, the monitoring station. All right, where is... That's so weird. It just it just disappeared. It just booped, booped. I wonder if it went too fast. I wonder if it like literally exploded. That doesn't make any sense. Um, hmm. So I guess, it, I mean, it was a, a success. We launched, both rockets seemed to get enough speed to get to the other continent. So I don't I don't really know what to call that. Like, I want to call it a success, but I have no idea. It might have been a success. We will never know. We will never, ever know. All right, guys. I'm going to call it here. I hope you like the video. I hope you get inspired to build an ICBM launch from a jet. Build it yourself. Um, I will put... I'm trying to think if the 747 has any modded parts on it. I don't think so. So I'm going to stick the 747 in today's Dropbox because we already have the previous version. All you would have to do is just update it to a bigger engine. So guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you comment. I hope you share. I hope you do all those things you guys do. And until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers. <laughs>